Hey there, Deep Inspiration Hub here. Today I'm going to be taking you through a new video on how to set up your Firecaster node. So Firecaster has been trending for some time because I got to know reading through Twitter that if you set up a Firecaster node, there would be or there could be a possibility for you to end an airdrop. So I set up one of these nodes myself because the entry point or the amount that you need to pay to set up the node is basically how much you would pay for the VPS. You don't need to pay any hundreds of euros or something like that in order to be able to set up the node. So my node has been running for about five days and then currently you can see that I have a lot of data that has been run through my my node and I didn't find that much content out there on how to set up a Firecaster node especially in English so I said I'm going to make this video and take you through how you can do it. So what is Firecaster? Firecaster is trying to build a decentralized social media network, right? The whole idea is that most of the traditional social media platforms that are available, all the data is stored in a central location. So whatever you are clicking, whatever you are liking, whoever you are following, all these data are used to be sold to advertisement agencies to be able to tailor which adverts would come into your feed, which profiles will be suggested to you to follow and stuff like that. Now Firecaster is trying to build a social media network where the data is not stored in a centralized location. So that means that everyone or like I'm going to teach you today is going to be able to set up a hub and this data from the social media platform when its messages when its feeds would be channeled through these different hubs so that means that the data is not going to be stored in a centralized location so I find the project to be quite interesting one because you didn't like I said you do not need to pay that much to start or join the project secondly they already have a product that is there and this product that I'm talking about is what is called the webcast so this is how webcast looks so it's basically the interface is very similar to Twitter or X so you can follow people you can create posts you can retweet it and stuff like that and I also saw that there are some notable people there like the, the Ethereum founder um, I don't know if I pronounce the name correctly Vitalik but Butsirin but he's also there I mean this speaks volumes about the platform and I think the platform is going to is a pretty interesting platform and I think those they, they have started to gain some mass adoption now if you want to read more or if you want to hear more about Farcaster I mean, quick note made a very, very good tutorial on how you, how the whole platform works and what the concept is. I'd highly suggest that if you want to get more into the details, please watch this video. I mean, in order not to get the tutorial lengthy, I wouldn't go through all the concepts of the Farcaster, but this is just to give you a general overview of what they are trying to do. Now, the Farcaster note comes a bit on a higher side, so you're going to need 16 gigabyte of RAM for CPU cores, 40 gigabyte of free space to set this up. Now I looked through all the VPS providers and the cheapest option that I found out there was for Contavo. So here I would be extremely happy if you sign up using my referral link because this would help me to be able to get some commissions to be able to make VPS payments to come out to tutorials like this for you. So if you look at the, the packages that you have, they have the one that I'm going to recommend is the cloud VPS2. So here you pay about $9.5 a month, get six CPU cores, 16 gigabyte of RAM, 200 or 400 SSD two snapshots, 36 terabytes, traffic and stuff like that. So here, just click on select. And then here you can decide which package you want to go for. So you can go for one month or you can go for one year, depending on whichever you want to go for. For the region, I recommend that take this to European Union. It just means that your node would be, or sorry, your VPS would be in Germany, but you don't need to pay extra to get your VPS in a different location. For the story type, 400, I'll suggest you go with a 400 gigabyte SSD. If you go with 600, you're going to pay a bit more, which we don't need. You can also go with a 200 gigabyte NVMe, but you don't really need that that high read write speed that's why you don't also need to take this one because the speed or the disk space would be less so stick to the 400 gigabyte ssd and for the operating system go with ubuntu 22.4 22.04 and then here just put in the password that you want to use for your vps server down here you don't need to do anything just make the payments and then you're going to get that email with the credentials that you're going to need to sign in so with contabo it's sometimes that when you are setting up the vps you're going to have this one-time payment of nine euros but after that the monthly subscription is going to be just 9.5 so that's what like i said the entry point to get this into this project is not that expensive at the end of the day if it doesn't if you work out it's a vps that you can use for something else or you didn't lose that much money in terms of the initial setup so i'm going to put in my password i'm going to make the payments and we're going to go to the next stage so after you make the payments within some minutes or sometimes some hours typically it doesn't take one hour but it could take longer just so that you know you're going to receive a confirmation email from Cantabo. all that we're going to need is so they're basically going to provide you what the login credentials of your vps server is here you're just going to need the ip address of your vps server so i have blinded mine out for security reasons basically all we're going to need here is the ip address the username of the server is going to be root and the password is going to be the password that you used when you were setting up the vps now while waiting for the vps the next thing that you're going to have to set up is we're going to have to create an api key and then you can create one for free using infura so i'm going to provide the link also in the description section when this open just click on sign up today and then here fill in your first name your last name your email address and then your password so now after you verify the email there are a few things that you're going to 
they're gonna ask you to set up your accounts here i just came to founder i'm uh, sorry other and i just say i'm a researcher or whatever you can put in whatever that you want to do you don't need to put exactly what i'm doing and here i just said i'm just building and then here i said i'm here to learn next i just chose ethereum next and then here very important you do not need to go for the paid option just go with the free option here and click start building now then here you see that a new api key is created for you so just click on the my first key that is created for you and then here very important for ethereum uncheck these two things we just need the mainnet and also for optimism we need mainnet so these are the only two endpoints that we need to create we do not need to create any other endpoints here when you are done just click on save changes and then now you see that an api so two apis are created for us one for ethereum mainnet and one for optimism and this is what we're going to be using when we are setting up the vps or when we are setting up the node on the vps end now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to have to download and install the webcast app and when you are done with the installation you would we would be able to fetch out an fid key that we're going to be also using using when we are setting up the node now to do this just come to your play store and install application that is called webcast i'm just going to click on install to install this and when the application is installed just click on open to install the application and then here i'm going to be creating a new account so i'm just going to click on create new accounts and then you see that your account is going to be have a, a unique recovery phrase so yeah just click on copy to clipboard and then make sure that you copy the, the seed, seed phrase that we're going to get to the account because you do have to restore your accounts you you could use the seed phrase to restore your account so like they say here you would need this seed phrase to log into your podcaster app so please restore please store this in a secure location so i have saved this in a secure location and then i'll click i have backed up my recovery phrase and then here you're going to have to put in your email address i'm going to so i'm going to put in my email address then when you are done just tap on continue and then the verification link would be sent to your email address so the first time that i did this it took about five minutes for, or even less for me to get a verification email should you not get this email within five minutes just wait a bit longer the server might be overloaded you would get this email address or you get this email to verify your account so my email is now verified that it's around the email came pretty quickly so you're gonna have to make this five one year five dollars payment um to set up the account just click on create account and i'm going to agree to the terms and conditions then basically here i've already set up my payment account that's why i do not have to put this in again so i'll just tap on if you do not have if you haven't set this up you're just going to have to fill in whatever details that you want to use credit card paypal or whatever then when you're done just make the payments so i'm just going to make the payments and i'm going to go to the next stage so after you make the payments an fid is going to be registered for you exactly this is what we're going to need and that's why we are making this um, account and stuff like that so i'm just going to wait for the whole initial setup to go through and then we can go through the next steps so here i'm just going to pick a username i'm going to put in my username i'm going to call this meet dipin because i've already used my username the first time i did it just click on continue and i'm going to skip this for now i'm also going to skip this for now then here you can just skip this as well i don't want to choose any interest here i'm going to put in my name i'm going to call this meet dipin and then i'm just going to write crypto enthusiast then you're going to have to somehow upload a profile picture before you can go to the next stage i'm just going to upload the, upload the profile picture here and when i'm done i'm just gonna click on continue so the account has been set up for us it's so ugly i'm so sorry that the first picture that we are seeing is this ugly picture i'm gonna screw down i mean all that we're gonna need here is to just tap your profile picture here and then click on where so in my case where i have mid the pin at the top left click on this and then come to the three dots that we have on the right side and then choose about and then you see that an fid has been generated for us so this is the fid that we're going to need to set up the node so i'm just going to take note of this fid so basically that's it from the app we have created the webcast app we have gotten our fid so now we can go to the vps setup and install the application now to connect to the vps like i always recommend the application putty so putty is a free application that you can download so just come to putty.org click on download putty and then based on which operating which processor that you have just download the right application now when you are done with the application just open putty and then here we're going to log in into the vps so like i said you're going to log in using the ip address so in this host name you're going to put in the ip address that was provided to you here and then username and the password is good the username is always going to be with your password you're going to put in when we are entering the console so here i'm just going to put in my ip address here so my ip address is 161.97 and that's it then when i'm done just click on open and if you're opening this for the first time the application is going to ask you if you want to show you want to do this connection i'm just going to click on accept and then here we're going to log in using our username and the password so the username is always going to be root if you're setting up with contable most vps providers also the username is root and then press enter and then for the password you're going to type in the password so with putty or with most vps connection application you do not see the type the password when you're typing it so i would suggest that it's just type the password somewhere copy this into the clipboard and just come into putty once you have copied this into the clipboard 
clipboard just right click and put it and this would basically paste everything that you have in the clipboard and just press enter so now the vps is set up the first thing that we're going to do is i'm going to provide all the commands that we're going to use in the description section so don't worry about this now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to update the ubuntu just put in this command the first command that we're going to use here and press enter so the setup or the updates installation is complete so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to install screen so here just copy this i think we can just i can edit this command actually and put minus y to just accept the installation copy this command come to the console right click and then install screen so screen is basically an application that would install that would make makes it a bit easy to manage several instances of an application you can think about this as working in, with different windows in the windows operating system now screen is now installed now we're going to create a new screen that is called farcaster copy the third command here come here right click on this and then press enter then you see that everything clears out because we have entered a new space within which we want to run the application now the final command that you're going to have to do is this command here i'm going to bring this down in order not to command confuse you here as well i would like to show you the command or the source of the installation file so when you come to the docs of farcaster just come to installation and then this is the command that we're going to be using right so should you have any problem with the command that i'm going to put in the description section or i would advise that before you run this installation command just come to the original file and make sure that you have the updated link so i'm going to copy this i'm going to come into the application just right click and then paste this in and then now the installation process is going to begin so the installation process gets stuck here sometimes i mean not sometimes all the time that i've tried to install the application the first time that i did this i thought i did something wrong but when you get this do not worry the installation is still in progress after some time the steps are going to move forward so now we are at the stage that is asking the ethereum rpc url now if you remember we set up this api so just come to your first key this board has been asked ethereum api just copy this click on this to copy i'm going to move this to the right to make it a bit easy and move the console to the left and then just right click to paste in the url and then press enter the next thing that is going to ask is the optimism url so here just click on copy as well come to the console right click and then press enter then the last thing that we're going to need is the fid key that we created or that was created for us from the webcaster app so my key is 740570 and then when you're done just press enter and then the installation process is going to continue so i'm just going to wait and then when the installation goes through so here you can see that everything has been downloaded when the installation goes through i'll let you know what the next steps has to be now when you start to see messages like this hubble minus one with some message and some timestamp basically the installation is done so we have set up the node now what is extremely important is that please do not just close the console here press ctrl a leave the keyboard and press d this basically minimizes the application now it's extremely important that you do this so it happens to me several times that i mistakenly put in a command and basically kill the application for me so whenever you're working on the screen if you've been following my youtube channel for some time i always recommend that before you leave the screen minimize the screen so that the application runs in the background you just do this by pressing ctrl a d now if you want to get back into the application just type screen space minus r and then press enter so most of the time i have never come back into the application after i set this up so you would might even never have to come here to do anything before you leave or before you close the put the application like i always said or like i just said press ctrl a leave the keyboard and press d then basically you have minimized the application so at this instance you can close your putty and what was also asked several times in my youtube channel questions is that do you have to leave your pc on all the time no if you're running on the vps your pc doesn't need to be on because the idea is that you want to use another hardware elsewhere to run this so you can leave your computer off you only need the pc if you want to connect to the console so here i'm going to click close the application or the putty application because i'm done then press ok now about 30 minutes after you have set up the node typically within about 30 to 1 hour you should see some traffic on your node for you to be able to know that your node is set up correctly now to do so just put in the ip address of your vps server then press the colon and then press the number 3000 and then just press enter and then what is a page is going to be open that is called the hubo dashboard so currently you see that it shows no data but this actually means that the node is set up correctly after some time you will see that you will start to see some traffic on this page and if traffic starts being channeled through your node this is how it's going to look like you're going to see that instead of having no data no data you will start seeing some numbers and some graphs showing that data is being channeled through your node i mean like i said just because i set this up that's why it shows no data the first time i set it up i also thought i did something wrong because it was showing no data but just give it some time two hours three hours four hours you would see some data being channeled through your node so that's how easy it is to set up or not that easy but that's how it is to set up the firecaster node if should you have any questions put this in the comment section i'll be very very happy to help you out please like this video and subscribe to my channel as well so that you can get more videos like this thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one Ooh, just when i was about to leave 
you see the first pick just came up so my data my node is currently channeling data through it which is extremely good so it means that we did a good job so like i said thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one bye